He said, get on your knees. Amen. Call out to me. And I got on my knees. He said, now call out to me. I said, how so, Lord? He said, call my name. Some folk don't want to do that. Too proud. Amen. Too proud to call the name of Jesus. But I got down there. And yes, I had a little discussion with myself. I said, now why do I have to call the name of Jesus? The answer, scripture says, they that call. Watch this. Amen. You might have a question. Get in the word and get the answer. I said, why do I need to call on the name of Jesus? Paul, chapter 10. They that call on the name of the Lord shall not be made the same. Amen. Amen. Second reason. They that call on the name of the Lord, watch this, shall be saved. Watch this, brother. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Glory to God. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Amen. I need you. Yeah. Jesus. I want you. Jesus. Yeah, 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 Amen. Yeah. Come on into my life. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Somebody might say, sound like begging to me. Amen. Don't sound like faith. Wrong answer. Jesus commanded me to call. Uh -huh. I'm in obedience when I call. He was looking at my heart. He was saying, yes, uh -huh. keep on calling. Yes, keep calling. Amen. Ah, the glory. And one day. Yes, sir. Help me up, Holy Ghost. Yes. One day. When I was calling on that name. I got so I didn't care who hurt me. I got lost in calling that name. Susan, Joseph, Daniel. I got to calling that name one day. The Lord looked at my heart. Yeah. He looked at the angels. About ready, huh? He's ready. His heart is clear. He's died to yeah. sin. He surrendered. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. In a few moments, I heard myself Thank you, speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Thank Just, you, like the yes. Just like the apostles. Yes. Just like Cornelius' house. Just yes. like the Samaritans. Mm -hmm. Just like all Thank saints you. of old who received uh -huh. the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. I spoke in tongues yes, as the Spirit of God Thank gave the utterance. Jesus. And Jesus turned and got his blood pen and dipped it in his blood. Got that book of life and yes. slid it over in front of him and said, Ernest, E-A-R-N-E-S-T, -E, e for Eugene Robinson, R-O-B-I-N-S-O-N. My name was written down in the book of life. Yes. Brothers and sisters, it does not get written until you're filled yes. with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And you are absolutely <clears throat> saved. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Not that there's any other time when you're not. God is working on you. But yes. when he's done with you, you are filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. How do you know that, Pastor? You're speculating. Thank you, Jesus. Romans. Yes. Uh-huh. Corinthians. Chapter 12. Mm -hmm. Amen. The scriptures say, we are brought into the body of Christ by the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Ephesians say, we are sealed with in Christ, Christ. Yeah. by the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. One thing about oh, Pastor Bob, yeah. you're going to learn if you sit in this church. I am not going to speculate with you about how God works. I'm going to teach you what thus saith the Bible. Amen. Uh -huh. I ain't speculating because I got to give an account Amen. if you miss it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to be the reason why. You're going to miss it. All right. I'm going to give you everything you need. Yes. Amen. Amen. And you hear the word of God. And I, I've said it once, I'll say it again. Check me out. If I say something's in the word, look it up. Mm -hmm. I challenge you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's how absolutely sure mm -hmm. that I'm going to obey God. I'm not messing with his word, sister. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to change one jot or tittle. If he says you need the Holy Ghost, I'm going to tell you. If he says you need to be baptized in Jesus' name, I'm going to tell you. Amen. If he says the only way you're going to get to my heaven is to come under the authority of my name and the Holy Ghost, I'm going to tell you. Amen. So you will know. So you will have no excuse Amen. when you stand before the Savior. And he's looking in the book. Flip, flip. And boy, when he start doing that, we're in trouble. Flip, flip, flip. Because he knows what your name is, amen. amen. 
but he's going to be sending you a signal. Flip, flip, flip. Not the light, he's going to stop and say, I don't know you. He taught a parable. And I'm getting ready to close. He taught a parable yes. about people preparing to get ready to meet him. Mm -hmm. He taught it in a marriage <clears throat> ceremony in Israel type of situation. He said the bridegroom that was coming. Mm -hmm. And the bride was waiting in a special place where they had the Israelite. A wedding in those days was about 14 days long. It would be seven days if it was a short one. It was a, if it was a normal customary, it could be 14. Actually, customs say they could stretch it out to three weeks, 21 days. If they really wanted to kind of party a little bit, not get drunk, but really enjoy the presence of the family mm -hmm. and those two people that was getting married, the absolute minimum was seven, the normal was 14 days. Mm -hmm. So the bride would be hid away at the place where the mother, not hid away, she would be sequestered away where mom and dad, the mother and daddy of the bride, kept her. Because there were certain duties that the bridegroom needed to perform in those days. There was a dowry. Everybody say dowry. You don't do this. Dowry. Mm -hmm. The bridegroom had to come up with some moolah or some gifts. Uh huh. Money, Joseph, or some gifts. And bring them to dad and mom. I want that sister Ava to be the mom. Mom, <coughs> your beautiful daughter Shauna. And it was so good. Just teach him. Here's this gift. Bless your heart. I love your mom, but I love your daughter even more. And your husband ain't there telling me he's going to make you die. But the husband would be there. And then. <coughs> He would go and get ready to come and take his bride. There was the feast. There was the actual wedding ceremony that would be performed. And then he would take his bride and go into their neutral, their nuptial, we call it their honeymoon, their nuptial house or suite or bedroom. Mm -hmm. And they would go in there and shut the door. Now, you might as well go away for a while, but when you're dealing with newlyweds, they won't be in there a while. That's the good thing. They don't enjoy each other. It's our own way. That's right. And Jesus used that, and he showed that when the church is ready, he's going to come, and the church is the bride. Yeah. He's going to come, he's the bridegroom, and he's going to go into the to her, the church, and he's going to shut the door because the world, if they didn't get saved in the prescribed time, say that, say that. once that door goes shut, That's it. uh, it's, oops, sorry. And there were some folks who thought they could do it in their own time. Jesus went in and shut the door, the Bible said. Mm -hmm. And of course, the Bible <clears throat> rejoiced and all the family inside had a joyous time. Suddenly on the outside, I'm going to use the pony for the box there. Oh, uh, that gets a little Jesus turned around and said, yes, a little annoyed, because <laughs> his folks was inside. Mm -hmm. And they said to him, Lord, and he said, yes. He said, uh, open and let us in. And Jesus said, uh, I don't know about that, talk to me. And they said, Lord, we preach revivals in your name. We baptize folks in your name. We brought folks into your church. Mm -hmm. Check the book. Jesus went, yup, yup, you did all that. They just said, okay, uh, like, open the door. And Jesus said, uh-huh. They said, why? Because Jesus checked another book. The one I'll tell you is flip, 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 flip. He said, after he flipped, he said, I don't know you. What? I don't know you. What do you mean you don't know him? Jesus was playing out. Your name ain't in this book. That's what? I don't know you. He said, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Mm -hmm. Church people, religious folk, who just go to church for fun. Ain't trying to get no covenant relationship with God. God. Ain't trying to be obedient to his word. No, no. Going to do it their way. Mm -hmm. Jesus got a trick for them folk that's going to do it their way. No, they got a trick for themselves. Mm -hmm. He's the righteous one. He don't that's have right. no tricks. No he operates a certain way. That's right. You don't meet the requirement. It's whoops. Next. Uh -huh. I know I'm, I'm making it hard here, but you might as well see it the way it is. There's no easy way into the kingdom of God. Everybody say, no easy way. No easy way. There ain't no easy way. No, it's, not. it's through obedience. That's right. And submission. And honor. And worship. And praise. And holy living. Mm -hmm. Not my way. <clears throat> not your way. Not their way. The way. Mm -hmm. His way. Amen. 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 That ain't what I heard. Sorry. Read 
to a Bible. That's my admonition to you. Don't take the word of some man. Read the word of God. Because Jesus is going by the word. He's going to call out pastors. Yes, he is. 